Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters of the Week video. I thought I would mix this one in as well as I do one last video on your Urban Legends suggestions. This one, the random page from the CryptidsWikia.com website, came up with yet one of my other beloved Lumberjack Cryptids. Those of you that know my history here on YouTube know how much I love these particular cryptids. They are so fascinating, uh, so interesting. The idea that these could have existed sometime in the wild frontier days, but maybe not today, or could still be out there. Who knows? But I love the notion of them. Almost like reading something from a child's fairy tale of, uh, with regards to it. So, very interesting stuff. This one has to do with a creature that is pretty dangerous to humans. Don't let its docile appearance fool you. This is definitely not something that you want to run into within the forest, and it has to do with this. The creature known with the very likable name Gumburu, but again, it is another uh, false notion when it comes to its uh, niceness. No, absolutely, this is a creature that will be your doom if you do come across it. So what is this Gumburu? Well, again, it is a creature of some sort that was found by lumberjacks sometime within the 19th, 20th century, the wild frontier days, like I mentioned. These were the time periods where lots of people were settling outwards towards America, they were going towards the west, they were coming across a lot of very large sets of forests, and within one of those forests was this creature itself. Now this one, it has very unique characteristics tied to it. For starters, it's as big as a bear. So whenever you see something like this, just know that it's going to be a pretty large creature. Uh, bears are by themselves are naturally large, so imagine something like this being that large, but it is much fatter than the bear. As you're looking at the picture here, uh, definitely much fatter, much girthier. It has has a pretty pronounced set of legs um, in that case because of its girth like with regards to its fat but the other distinct notion of it is it is completely hairless but for a few small areas so unlike a bear this creature only has its skin except for the hair lying within its eyebrows and then most prominently underneath its chin almost like a half goatee uh, within its chin and yes uh, this creature has that skin for a specific purpose it doesn't have any fur in other words for this purpose and that's because its skin is extremely tough it's considered very very tough so much so that if you wanted to shoot anything at it whether it's bullets whether it's arrows it's very tough leather like skin will cause it to bounce off almost like something from a comic book if you will those things will just bounce off it and then that way it'll ensure that it has no I guess weaknesses uh, with regards to that if there is one weakness however and it seems to be a common case with a lot of monsters that are shown within movies uh, these days how um, this one thing seems to catch them all and that is fire so that is the only way to defeat this creature if you come across it you happen to have a gun you happen to have bow and arrow you can't really do anything with it but if you can create fire as quickly as you can much like the aliens film much like the thing uh, those monsters there this fire is the one that allows it to be defeated so pretty interesting stuff now with regards to how it's so deadly it's because of this it is pretty much camped out in hibernation for most of the year only a few very specific times does it come out of its home its home seems to be a large cedar tree the base of a cedar tree that's where it hides out essentially throughout its hibernation now how it creates it who knows maybe it just finds one that's empty maybe it uses other gumbaroos uh, burned out cedar trees that no longer are used something along those lines who knows but that's where it spends most of its time but when it comes out it comes out just for one purpose and that is to eat it is a very voracious eater like it absolutely hunts for food during that very small window of time that it is out of hibernation and where it becomes so deadly is that it will eat anything anything that's considered living anything that comes across its path it will absolutely eat it. So if it happens to be small woodland animals, that's fine. If it happens to be another bear, that's fine. It's been known to even eat 
things as large as a horse all in one sitting that goes to show how much of an appetite it has so imagine if it can eat anything along those lines and it comes across a human uh, person you and I coming across the forest what little hope do we have that's why again this is a very fearsome creature uh, with regards to the lumberjack tails everyone that has come across this knows how dangerous it is and knows how quickly they have to ensure their survival by again using the aforementioned fire but yes that's really all the information tied to this creature this gumbaroo the name makes it seem like it's very nice very placid its appearance makes it seem like it's lovable but it is absolutely not it will eat anything and everything including yourself down to the bone and you will have it's almost as if you never existed uh, within this earth um, the only known sighting by the way I mean I guess the only known confirmed kill happened to be sometime in 1957 if you could believe it there was a Mike Mulligan and another person named Abernathy Quinn who apparently destroyed a gumbaroo how they did so I have no idea there's not much more information related to that but they destroyed it but what they did with the evidence of it who knows because again with the creature being so impervious almost to harm except for a fire you would think that it would have its carcass be very easy to take out very easy to wander around that way they can show it off but no um, there's no evidence that I could find with this gumbaroo's existence whatever it was that was destroyed somewhere near a bay in Oregon so if anyone has any more info on that that'd be really good to hear but that's the only time apparently that there has been both a, uh, a like a kill a tied to this creature everywhere else all the other encounters there that there have been sure there's been those encounters but no other evidence either and this would have been a perfect opportunity for it but for the fact that apparently that carcass is nowhere to be seen but yes that's it so if anyone has any other info tied to this gumbaroo please post those comments below that would be really great to hear so all right everybody thanks again as always take care